64 tetrahedron grid is a particular isolation of a section of the isotropic vector matrix. And there are very interesting forms inside it that are made visible by this colored version. So let me load the 3D interface here. And you'll see there's a red triangle pointing upwards, tetrahedron, sorry, a three a four-sided triangular structure pointing upwards and there's a blue one pointing downwards and then in between them we have this purple cuboctahedron and the three of them interlock like this. Now this form extends indefinitely. You can simply place these next to each other and fill the whole universe with this form, this triangular grid. And every point will be the center of a cube octahedron like this and the center of an upward pointing tetrahedron and a downward pointing tetrahedron. And then if we zoom in, you'll see that there's also a smaller green shape at the center here. Let's see if I can get this to rotate a bit. And it's hard to see what that shape is, but it's actually a smaller version of the purple cube octahedron. These are octaves of each other. The green one is around this central pivot where the white axes uh, meet at the very center of the form. The green one is the 12 vertexes closest to this central white vertex in here. And then the green cube octahedron the next octave of it, as Buckminster Fuller would call it, would be the purple cube octahedron here. And you'll notice there's also a yellow form there, which is a, an octahedron, has a triangle on top and then six going around and a triangle on the bottom. Sometimes easier to recognize when it's point on like this, and you can see that it's actually two four-sided pyramids stuck base to base. So these are some of the uh, simple units of form within the infinite triangular tetrahedral matrix that fills the whole of space and time. You'll also see that there's black forms here. They are smaller octahedrons like the yellow one although their innermost triangle is not colored black because they're stuck to the sides of the green cube octahedron. So let's just let you see the inside of it again for a moment. And we'll zoom back the other way. And I always like to have the red tetrahedron pointing upwards and the blue pointing downwards as symbolic of the basic duality of fire and water, in which case the purple cube octahedron represents the perfect balance between uh, forces of levitation and gravity, or if you like, forces of expansion and contraction. I hope that helps to make clear uh, what a, an amazing amount of fundamental forms are contained within this small section of the isotropic vector matrix. Available at sacredgeometrical.com.